We're just looking at the numbers from Flynn now, That's and uh, Chris Trevor launched a, a, a pretty scathing attack after the attack of uh, the, the dumping of Kevin Rudd. How much uh, do you take on board the, the result there? Oh, I, don't, I don't think that's got anything to do with his result in Flynn. The biggest issue up there and, and one of their problems has been one of the LNG plants. Employment and, and preparing for the mining sector is a big deal up there. There was a, a big, big proposal for a LNG mining development, which unfortunately got caught up in an environmental process. So you don't process. think there's any rug factor in that at all? the LNG plant. Well, it's, it's, how, can you, how can you say this early in the night if it gets a rug factor? Well, not all I can say to you is that in terms of that, in terms of that seat, it's a disappointing I, I result. Think, Chris, I, is a, Chris is, hang on a sec, Barnaby. It's a very, it's a very, very disappointing that. result. He's a great candidate, but there are local factors yeah, that are I'll tell you what. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Chris Trevor was a good candidate and is a good bloke. What happened is, number one, is they got rid of Kevin Rudd and that put everybody offside. Then they brought in the ETS and then they brought in the mining tax. Then they stopped the LNG plant. And the people in Gladstone are saying, what you, have you got a problem and, and with that, this? And that something? is true. Barnaby has been campaigning in Flint about the emissions trading scheme for the last 18 months. Uh, let's, let's That's go. what you, you have been doing that. Well, yeah. Let's, let's get to the question. Let's keep yourself. number crunching. The thing is, you've got to number crunching. Barnaby, we've got to keep number crunching well, for the moment, though. No, no, look, I was just going to say this. We ought to get this out of the way early on since you've raised Kevin Rudd. The bottom line is this, win, lose or draw, if Labor had not changed from Rudd to Gillard, they'd be 10 to 15 seats worse off tonight. Doesn't matter what you think about Julie Gillard, whether you supported her, Mark, or didn't, the bottom line is they would have done much worse under Rudd. Everybody knows that. His polling was deteriorating on a daily basis, and he would have wiped out the Labor Party if he'd remained as leader. Now, you're going to see tonight, whatever happens, you'll see some people in the Labor Party have a go at Habib and others. Um, they actually did the right thing. I'm saying that from a little. It'd be easy to say, oh, you know, they should have kept running. No, no, he was a disaster. Let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen. And they did the right thing getting rid of him. We wouldn't be here tonight talking about a close result if Kevin Rudd was still we, the leader. We will continue to, co- uh, to, to talk about it through the course of the night. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 I'd have okay. to go back to what um, was said. I have to disagree with Michael Kroger. Look, Michael, there's many ways you can change a tyre, but putting the car on its roof is a bad way to do it. When they, the way they changed to Kevin Rudd, but just put everybody off site. They are dirty about it up in Queensland. Well, they're I'm dirty, about, dirty about it. I'm just simply making the point, Barnaby, that if Labor had kept Kevin Rudd as the leader, they would have done worse tonight than they will do with Gillard as leader. Michael Crater is absolutely right. It's the biggest furphy of this election campaign that Labor is paying a price for Kevin Rudd they being are. tossed out in Queensland. The reason are, Kevin Rudd is not, not leader today if, if, is if because you, Labor you was going to change the tyre in the car by putting the car on its head, we should, should, should point out that Chris Wallace is Julie Gillard's biographer. <laughs> um, yeah, and, that, that, and welcome to this <laughs> evening's proceedings. And a long-standing... <laughs> and, uh, let's, let's go out there right now, actually, and Tracy Grimshaw 